we want to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region in the first quadrant bounded by y equals x squared, graphed here in blue, y equals zero, which would be the x-axis, and x equals two, this vertical line here, rotated about the y-axis. So this is the bounded region. If we rotate this region about the y-axis, it would produce this solid here, and our goal is to find the volume of this solid. Because our function is a function of x, and we have a vertical axis of rotation, we'll be using the shell method to find the volume given by this formula here, where the volume is equal to two pi times the integral of p of x times h of x, integrated with respect to x from a to b, where p of x is the distance from the axis of rotation, and h of x would be the height of a shell. To help set up the integral, it's always helpful to sketch a representative rectangle where if we were to rotate the rectangle about the y-axis, it would give us one shell of the volume. So let's use this rectangle here to help set up our integral. If we rotate this about the y-axis, it would give us one shell of the volume. To help illustrate this, here are several shells that would give us the approximate volume of our solid. As a number of shells approaches infinity, the volume of the shells approaches the volume of the solid, which gives us this integral here. So looking at this rectangle, notice how the width would be delta x, which is why we're integrating with respect to x, and then p of x, the distance from the axis of rotation, would be this distance here. Notice how this distance would just be x, so p of x equals x, and then h of x, the height of this rectangle, would be this length here, which would just be the function value given by y equals x squared. So h of x equals x squared. And now we have all the information we need to set up our integral. The volume is equal to two pi times the integral of, again, p of x times h of x, which would just be x times x squared, integrated with respect to x from zero to two. So notice how our integrand is just x cubed. Let's evaluate this on the next slide. And now we'll find the antiderivative. The antiderivative of x to the third would be x to the fourth divided by four. So when x is two, we'd have two to the fourth, which is 16. 16 divided by four would be four. And then when x is zero, this would be zero. So the volume is two pi times four cubic units, or eight pi cubic units. Let's also get our decimal approximation. So eight pi is approximately 25.1327. So we have both the exact and the approximate volume of our solid, and because this is volume, these would be cubic units. So again, this would be the volume of the solid here, generated by rotating this bounded region about the y-axis, and we use the shell method to find the volume. I hope you found this helpful.